welcome to Tianjin, China. This is our port and we're heading today to Beijing. So we could do the Great Wall of China today and the Summer Palace and then tomorrow we have to wake up early again so we could get to Tiananmen Square and the Forbidden City. Now to get from Tianjin to these locations in, in Beijing or near Beijing uh, it's going to be about a three hour bus ride there both days and a three hour bus ride back. I heard the roads are pretty nice it's just going to be very very long but otherwise we're going to have a fun day today I'm super excited to see the Great Wall and take some good photos so I will see you on the bus. So we just took a quick stop on our tour bus to the Summer Palace, then the Great Wall of China. And we stopped at this rest stop when we just entered from Tianjin to Beijing's border. We stopped at a police uh, checkpoint. And let me get around. <laughs> Everybody's nice. Um, and so we stopped here, used the restroom real quick. And took another picture. I take a picture of every bathroom there is because apparently they're all different. And one thing I noticed is that, as they told us ahead of time not to be scared, that there is no toilet paper. It's just a, they say like a hole in the floor. You pee, you squat, you do your business, whatever, but you have to bring your own toilet paper. There's a little, um, trash can where you put toilet paper in so you don't throw it in the toilet or the floor toilet whatever you want to call it so that was very interesting the bathroom here in China I don't know if it's all around but it is here at this um, gas station slash rest stop um, also we noticed while we we're driving around that there are a lot of tall buildings here like apartment buildings apparently since it's such a high population you'll see a lot of tall apartments and condominiums opposed to where you would see houses everywhere so you see tons of apartment complexes that are super tall um, sky rises and yeah also something fun to realize when i was um, trying to google while i was on the bus google does not work here youtube does not work here facebook does not work here they have blocked the government has blocked these websites and i'm not sure what other websites so you cannot use. So that's a bummer when I'm trying to play with YouTube and keep myself occupied on this three hour bus drive to the Summer Palace. But we'll manage, the tour guy is great. He speaks really good English, giving us some history of the place. But otherwise, back on the bus. We are finally here after three hours of being in a bus. And we're at the Summer Palace, Beijing, China. And the tour guide said that this is, I believe, the largest royal gardens in the world. Super crowded, but he said it would be. It's his prime time for tourists. And as you can see behind us, tons and tons of people. Some Holland American tours, because there's two ships at the port, two Holland Americas, ours and another one. And then just some random other tours. I guess right behind us is where you normally would get your tickets to get in here. Thankfully we don't have to wait with that crowd because we already got it taken care of. A lot of smokers here too. Kind of rough on the air quality around here. Not used to that since in Japan it just seemed really clean and whatnot. Alright, let the tour begin.
So you see some of these trees here marked with little tags saying green I believe he said was over 100 red tags over 300 years old. It's very cool how they tag them. So we're still wandering around the Summer Palace. This place is huge, we're not gonna be able to finish it all because of time. You got these cool boats over here that you could, looks like you could rent. There's a ton of people out on the water playing with the boats. And then way, I don't know if you can see way up there. Let's see if I could, Let's see if it zooms in. There's a little tower right about there. You see a temple way in the back, really cool, but here's an absolutely beautiful gate to add to my collection of gates I've seen in different Chinatowns and whatnot. It's the first one I got to see that's major here in China, not in just a Chinatown in different cities. You got the cool lions that they have. At one, you got two on the other side. Entranceway is the entrance into the next section. So they said these lines that are over here, that are on both sides of this entranceway, are supposed to fend off ghosts and bad spirits. So, am I learning a little bit? Sure, I am. I figured I'd just take you on a tour of the area. So just finished the Summer Palace. We're heading back to the bus. Saw some rickshaws on the outside. When you enter and when you exit. Obviously we don't have no time to ride them, but... Still, interesting place. But the main stop for us today, that was my big bucket list thing to do, was the Great China Wall. So we're heading there next. I don't know how far it is, but we're going to go over there and take some good shots. I'll see you at the next stop. Thank you. So we made it to the Great Wall of China. It's in the evening, so I think a little less crowded. But we should see a nice, beautiful sunset here. Pretty cool. So welcome to the famous wonder of the world, the Great Wall of China. I'm gonna take this high road. Apparently if you go where we started right here by the building right here. You can go the opposite direction and it's a little bit easier for walk. Or if you do it, the rest of the people are going up the very, 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 very steep section and you only live once. You gotta do the very top one. I'm gonna take a quick picture and I'll be right back. It's absolutely beautiful right now. It's autumn, the leaves are beautiful, the walk is exhilarating. I've only been here 10 seconds, but beautiful views. Okay. You ready? Yeah. About to make it to our first little station, All right here behind me. Here's the surrounding area. So, continuing our journey up the Great Wall, we still have 
way to the top to go. Here's a little more than an hour. So I'm gonna head up there as quick as possible, get back down, see if I get me a keychain. Yeah, pretty awesome. And then we're gonna... Oh, it's steep. And one thing you have to notice is when you're walking up these, up this wall, you have to notice that some of the steps are uneven, obviously. Some can be a foot high, some can be very short. So you have all different heights of these stairs. I'm already winded. But, very cool place. You can take it anywhere. No, I was, that was my highest, but I made it on the wall. You can see just from that, some small steps, big steps, and look behind me. Steps way. Okay. Okay. Oh, the top. And I am. I need to go to the gym. <laughs> so that's eating too much food. Woo! Okay. The time's running out. I gotta go up. So let's go. And let's hope I don't have a heart attack. Beautiful views from up here. But, There's a flag bearer there. Beautiful. <laughs> And, wow, I didn't think about the heights, but that's pretty high up now. I see lots of people to stop halfway and sit down for a second, get a breath. Time doesn't permit one for me. So we're gonna head all the way up as fast as possible. I'm going to attempt to go all the rest of this little section and see what's up there and see if I can make it back down. And then the first thing when I get back, treadmill. No more ice cream, no more pizza, burgers, none of that junk food. Salads, salads. Absolutely beautiful out here. What they said is that there's these towers, like the one back here, that they'd be spread out. And if the enemy was coming, they would shoot f smoke and fire. Depending on how much smoke and fire, how many times they lit it, would determine how many troops, where they're coming from, so on. Let's say like four smokes, four fires, meant, I believe he said over 5,000 troops coming. The less means less troops. Pretty interesting, like smoke signals. So we all know it from different parts of this massive wall. They would know where they're coming from and roughly how many people are coming. So I think I'm gonna try to go up the rest of the way and pray that somebody will drag me the rest of the way. I'll see you in a few. Well, we're heading the rest of the way down. We may up pretty high up there. Now we're heading down. Nice sort of breath going down. It's a lot easier than going up those uh, steep steps. But it's tough to get down there. I have about 20 minutes to get down there, get my keychain, and get it back on the bus. So I'm gonna try to book it without killing myself going down these steps.
All right, got some of the Great Wall behind me. You can tell. So it was a great experience. Always dreamed of coming to the Great Wall of China. Finally got to do it. Kept on walking as high as I could go. And then since you got some of these 80 year olds that didn't break a sweat getting up to the top, which was fantastic, I had to be able to go up to the very top. So I made it and so happy that I made it to the very made to a very high part of the mountain. It was super exciting. The beautiful autumn leaves, the colors. It's absolutely gorgeous here. So and just FYI, if you're if you come to the Great Wall of China, make sure you bring your own toilet paper because there is no toilet paper in these bathrooms. So make sure you come to China, bring your own toilet paper. I gotta get in the bus. See you later.